Hey Stampers, it's Gina again and I was gifted beads last week by my upline because I've been with Stampin' Up for three years. Um, the, the Whisper White note cards and envelopes. So I've been having a little play. So these are going to be, I'm going to do four. Let me get the envelopes out. One, two, three, four. So I'll be able to do five lots in total. Um, and do a little gift box as, as well. So I can put these up for prizes. And I'm going to do this from scratch with you all right now. I'll show you my first one. I've made this and it's just so cute. I love it. And instead of putting designer series paper in here, I, uh, I just made my own with the stamp set and it's only a little wallet you could put a little pen holder at the side or pop a little pen in there as well I just think they're adorable and I've even decorated the envelopes with a little flower strip of paper and then uh, these beautiful doilies do you know I, I use Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green and a bit of Flirty Flamingo because that's what those colours to me look like but on the packet it's supposed to be Lemon Lime Twist uh, Call me Clover. Oh, where are they? They're here. And the colours are Call me Clover, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Grapefruit Grove, Lemon Lime Twist, Mango Melody, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie and Whisper White. And the only green I can see on there is the Lemon Lime Twist and Call me Clover. So, but I think they work really well together. I'm going to be using this designer series paper for this one. So I need that piece out. Um, so I've chosen as well Grapefruit Grove for the box. Let me carry on showing you these. I haven't done nothing on the inside because I think there's not, they're only three and a half by five note cards, but they're so pretty. So I've done two with those back hints and I've done two with those just to keep, add a bit of colour as well. And I'm separating them into like a little bundle. All the envelopes have been stamped and I've got their strip of paper on. Beautiful. I just think they're really cute and they're going to make some lovely little prizes. You know for our like weekly sketch I'm going to start popping these in for prize. Once the holographic paper is gone these will be the next prizes on the list. So if you keep up with the sketch for four weeks you'll be added into a drawer that fit perfectly and this is all using one sheet of, uh, of cardstock so let's get the card out there's the card grapefruit growth I'm gonna grab my trimmer and what you're gonna do is you're gonna get all three pieces out you need to cut the first one at three and a half the second one at three and three quarters Perfect. And then you've got your little one inch, just don't, well, I think it's just one inch or just over. No, it's the one inch for your belly band. You're going to open up the arm and the three and three quarter piece, you're going to cut down to ten. So that's the only piece you've got off there. And then the three and a half one, you're going to cut down to nine and a half. And that's that little piece there. So that's not too bad out of one sheet of cardstock. And you're going to make this lovely little box as well. Now we're going to fetch in our Simply Scored. And the nine and a half piece, we're going to score this first. And we're simply going to score this at three and three quarters. Four and a half, eight and a quarter, and nine. I'm going to flip it to the short side, and we're going to score this at three quarters. That's that piece. Your ten inch piece by three and three quarters. We're going to score this at five and a quarter and six. And that's 
that piece. And I think I've got to take a little fraction off the end because it needs to be 11. Yeah, I've left it on, so I'll cut that off in a moment. Uh, and at this, we're going to score it two and a quarter, three, six and three quarters, and seven and a half. That's it. So we'll pop the little box together first. Then we'll get on to decorating our cards and our envelopes. And then we'll pop them inside. So let me just grab this. Oh, it's just a fraction over one inch, which is just perfect. And I'm, oh, all I'm going to do with this, I'm not getting the trimmer back out for the sake of three quarters. I'm just going to trim it off. There we go. That's all you needed to do. So we can bend these. Give them a little burnish. Do that to all your score lines now and then we'll show you where to sniff and where not to and how to <laughs> this is going to wrap around the front and then we're going to seal this with a little decoration on the front am i i'm folding that the wrong way that's better making sure your ends are level So you get the perfect score line. And the same on this one. Keeping that together. Because this is your little back flap now. And that's the frit that's going to fit down the front. <coughs> and then we're going to burnish along the score lines. Oops. Am I doing it the wrong way again? I kind of did it lightly. Again, keep your cards stuck together. But what cute little gifts. I make lovely little presents, especially for the kids to take into school as well, to give the teachers little desk presents at the end of term. So, right, what you're going to do, uh, you're going to snip up, I'm just doing it at a slight little angle, and a slight little angle there as well, nothing major, just a tiny little bit, and there, and then snip up to the first score line, and take a little wedge, and I mean a little one, it doesn't have to be nothing major. And the same on these. Basically just taking away the score line. Perfect, just like that. So you haven't got a lot of waste. What we're going to do now, we're going to get some tear tape and just put it on the edge right along the score line this is why I like to bend mine and take it off perfect give that a good burnish get the air out that way it won't uh, come off remove your strip I'm going to bend this over and get those two pieces to meet and give them a good rub. And that's your little box. We've just got to glue these tabs in now. And that's the back, so that will go over like that. So I'm keeping my little seam at the back. We're even going to cut the designer series paper for this as well. Oh no, we're having cardstock. I've already cut that. So just line that up. Just give it a second. You can pop your pokey tool in. And then we're going to have a line of glue on here. Keep 
getting that all pushed down and nice and neat. Beautiful. Just give that a few seconds. Give it a little push down with your pokey tool, uh, with or your bone folder pokey tool. You'd have to use the back. Isn't that beautiful? So our back seam. Where's my other seam? There it is. And the back seam are all facing that way. So we can flip this over now. And that will fit on the back of there perfectly. So we're going to glue that down. That way all the seams are at the back and concealed. folder in and give that a nice burnish making sure that's all lined up yep perfectly doesn't take long for this glue to go off Isn't that gorgeous and then that is going to go across there it's the same width and then what we're going to do wrap this around and then it's going to meet it's pushing itself down because there's no cards in there at the moment, but get to keep that as a right, right angle. Oops. And then that's going to get folded over there. And that seam, again, will be hidden with our decoration on the front. Give that a little pinch. I don't know why that's doing that. It worked perfect earlier. <laughs> Just going to give that a wee pinch there. It wants to give it a little extra. That's it. Perfect. So that will go across there beautifully now. Yay, look at that, it's fitting perfect. And that's going to be our belly band. Isn't that cute? So cute. Right, I'm just going to pop the glue away for a moment. i get the pin in. <coughs> Where's my bits gone? Where's they gone? <laughs> I've lost them. <laughs> oh, there they are. Right. I've already gone ahead and cut a silver circle. I thought the doily was a little bit too big for the front. We will be using them for the cards. And I've cut a two inch circle. Well, we'll stamp that first. For this front piece, this is cut at three and three quarters by three and a half. And that's going to get mounted after we've stamped on there and the other pieces for here which is two and a half by three and a half and again we're going to do some stuff because we're using so much designer series paper on the cards I'm, i thought i'd make my own for the inside uh, for the box just made a little bit more sense that we were doing a bit of stamping as well so yeah so we're going to do some stamping on those i'm going to pop that to one side for a moment And we're going to sh I'm going to show you how I cut my designer series paper. And the cards are five by three and a half. Let me just fold one check for you. My bone folder. Because they sell the narrow cards as well, no cards and envelopes. These are three and a half by five, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is cut my designer series paper down to three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So I'm gonna to go to, cause it's not directional, I'm gonna to go to four and three quarters. 
and then I'm going to just spin this round and take as many as a three and three three and a quarter ones off as I can. We get three. And then this piece, I'm going to cut these down to half inch strips. Oh, I don't know, maybe I'll do three quarter inch strips. Whoops. Yes, three quarter inch strips. One. Any problem? You you lose that bar. So I could just line that up there. Slight move. There we go. Two. I would have had a third, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to cut. I'm going to do this one now at three and a half, so I don't have a big wedge of paper left. At uh, three and a quarter, sorry. So I've still got all that left to play with. I'm trying to get inside the packet. <laughs> and then I'm going to cut this to four and three quarters. So there's my four pieces. And I'm going to take this down to three and a quarter. So I've got more to play with. Oh, have I just done that wrong? Yes, I have. I'm a silly sausage. <laughs> Don't do what I just did. But I've got loads of scrap in here. And I don't like to get rid of anything. So I'm just going to check through these bits. Oh, I think that would be perfect. I always keep all my bits together. Especially out of the big packets. So I'm going to cut this down to four and three quarters. And I'm going to get my three quarters of an inch for the other two envelopes. One. Two. Perfect. So there's my, my four strips for the envelopes as well. Perfect. thing is now I've got I need the doilies so I've got the coloured doilies and I've also got the pearlized ones as well oh look at that one two three four perfect in the grapefruit grove they look like clips or coral but they are clips or coral but they look like the grapefruit grove so that's good enough for me unless no, that's too dark of a green. No, I'm going to stick with that colour. Definitely. Um, right, let's make our cards up. And I've got this sentiment which says, You are awesome. This is from... The Amazing Life, and it's got, you could have happy birthday and give little birthday cards, or you could put just something like you are amazing, or thank you or something, or I believe in you. Beautiful set. So we're going to make our cards up, give them a burnish. There's a knack to these. And I'm going to do it both sides. That way it flattens my card a little bit better. Perfect. I love making things from scratch with you. From start to finish. It's because you can watch it. Go away and get all your stuff together. Come back and watch again. And we can do it together. That's what I really like. 
This is why I don't speed things up on my videos. One, I wouldn't know how to. Well, I do, but I'm not going to. And two, because I don't have the software to do so. My husband used to have it on his laptop, but I don't have it on my PC. So, cards are prepped. Envelopes are prepped. We're going to be needing some cardstock for our sentiment. And we're just going to line them up now. And what you do is, I'm just going to adhere the strip along the back here. Oh, it's short. <laughs> Gady, you silly sausage. <laughs> Let me just measure that. Oh, bless my soul. How did I have them strips before? They're five and a quarter, not four and three quarters. Don't worry. All these pieces will be made into cards. Don't. I'll do the herringbone look for a female card. And I can now use that piece. I'm going to do it really quickly on my guillotine. How did I get five and a quarter before then? I don't know. But this first line on the grey is my three quarters. Fingers crossed, I get enough. Two, oh perfect by the looks of it. Well it's a little bit thinner, but it's still going on there. How's that? And go on my first piece. those away so I'm just it doesn't matter how much you put on there as long as you put some on there you're decorating the envelopes it's got to be slightly longer which it is and then you trim off oh see doing things from scratch <laughs> this is where all the little boo-boos come in I don't think it is a boo-boo myself because it's going to be turned into something, and all the other strips will be turned into something beautiful anyway. So I'm just going right along the edge of there. You just grab your snips and cut from behind and take off the excess. Perfect. Put them in my little pot. And there's one. I will stamp a flower down the bottom later. Add that right along there. Perfect. You've got a lazy Sunday afternoon. These would be a fabulous little project to make. You could give them, like I say, teachers, your best friend, your girlfriends, mother-in-laws. Anyone who loves to give a gift of a card, you could do little thank you cards. Just so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Just sets it off. So we've got two left of those. And then we can pick and choose our beautiful flowers. And the colours for this, I used Granny Apple Green, Flirty Flamingo and... Coastal Cabana on my others because I thought that's how it matched up. Well, it's just me being lazy. I just picked the colours that I thought went instead of looking on the back. But uh, I thought they represented them beautifully. So, just you can either follow the, the stamps that come with. I'm going to be using um, Grapefruit Grove. Um, call me Clover and Poppy Parade, but I'm going to stamp it off with the Poppy Parade. So last one. I could have put those little strips on the envelopes and done it at the, the bottom end here. So it's just me being fussy. So line them up right along the envelopes crease line. Beautiful. And snip off the excess. So, 
stunning, absolutely stunning. Look, see, they would have fit along this end. Probably. <laughs> Never mind. We're done now. We've done the envelopes. Yay! <laughs> now we can attach our design of this paper. See, this is why I didn't add it to the box. I thought, just make your own. Make it unique. And uh, just have fun with them. So these are a quarter of an inch smaller all the way around. Beautiful. And we'll decorate those in a moment. And it's not going to take long to put this whole set together. And we've even made a box to do it with. I love little gifts like this. And you can decide with this pattern. You could have with the other one, whether you want them this way or this way. Entirely up to you. Beautiful. Just really pretty cards. They speak for themselves, actually. They're just so pretty. And the designer says paper is gorgeous. But it's a shame that you can only earn it as a bundle. You wouldn't want the stamp set twice. But you wouldn't mind two lots of the designer series paper. Big catch, isn't it? So there's the cards all decorated up. We're going to be taking these. They're going to sit on there. We're going to have some circles. I've got my two-inch circle punch. I have got some white cardstock. And because they're little notelets, I'm just using the my pure white thin cardstock. It's only going to have... A flower on and look at that four of them perfection just gonna rip put the glue back on so this piece won't go to waste either I'm gonna trim off the excess That way I can't see. And then I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do this about four, four inches. And we're going to be using that for our little sentiments. <clears throat> so I'm going to fetch in a scrap of paper because I don't want to get any mucky anywhere I'm enjoying this so much I thought I lost my mojo for a day or two and now it's coming back so I've got the two main flowers out this one and this one um, I've got the small leaf and the dots, and they add this, oh, I'm going to add that leaf actually I think, whoops, there's my masks. Perfect. We can just have a little bit of fun now. So this is for the sentiment, which is there, and we'll do the black and get that out the way first. You are awesome. I'm not because I just put my finger in it. I'm just going to stamp that on all four sides. And then what I don't use, I can uh, chop off the excess and still use that piece of paper for that card for something else. Beautiful. That 
that's all the black I'm using. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like I've got a gravelly throat. And I'm using the... I can't think what this one's called. Everyday Labels, is it? And I'm going to punch them out ready. And I fits in there perfectly. And I can trim out the excess later on for another another card. Perfect. There we go. Isn't that cute? So I can go in my box. They're all done. I'm using proper whisper white for the front of the box. And now, I've, my one of my beautiful friends sent me a, a private message about the stamps. These ink pads are so stiff and, you know, trying to push and pull. So we're just going to stand them up. They will stay stood up. them open. I've still got a flat enough surface. You may have to hold the back but that's fine. So I've got my little leaves and my large leaf. These are bit, the large leaf is mainly for this one. We've got that gorgeous flower and I'm gonna just gonna check what it looks like full on on second generation. Oh now see I like both so I'm gonna do second generation beautiful absolutely stunning And I'm going to have a different colour on the front of the box and a different flower. This one is going full strength just so I can add some leaves. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So let's, because we've got the poppy parade in the cardstock there. I think that will look beautifully contrasted against each other on there. Isn't that pretty? Love that. So let's get a bit of green in. And I'm only stamping the leaves and not going past the stem. So I'm just doing a little, a little tiny stem. And if I've got any on there. Add in a little bit of colour. And I'm not dabbing too hard on the ink pad. So sweet. Perfect. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So on this one, I'm doing the same, and I'm going to stamp off. I love it. I'll wipe that clean now. Mind you, no, we're going to be doing some more stamping on our cards in a moment. And the lovely little dots, these are beautiful. So I'm going to add the pale dots on here. Just filling in some gaps. Aren't they so pretty? And then on this one I have the darker dots. Not even going to go mental. There we go. 
just so pretty. There we go. And then on this one, just check. Oh, beautiful. I'm just going to dab once. And I'm going to dot, 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 dot. Beautiful done. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, I'm going to use that again. So, these are the card pieces that go in on the front of the box now. Beautiful. I'm going to have our this gorgeous flower just going to stamp maybe some off the edge as well that is stunning leave that at that Now I can wipe those clean. May have a touch of this as well. Beautiful. Whoops, a daisy. Just add some bits of colour in there. Absolutely gorgeous. Clean as you go, gets all the job done in one, perfect. Uh, my leaf now, again I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wipe off the stem this time and just try and add a few of those leaves just about the place. So we can get some in, just to add a bit of colour. Oh, so pretty. My favourite word, pretty. Just fill in the gaps. Maybe I shouldn't have added that flower there. Beautiful. Wait till it all comes together, it's going to look fantastic. And we've got that tiny little leaf as well. Just filling up some gaps, not too much because I do want to add some more of those beautiful dots. They can just go anywhere they can. Perfect, that one's perfect for me now. And that's enough for that one. Absolutely beautiful. When you've finished, just click them all back into place. Making sure they all click, click, click. Pop them to one side. We can fetch our box in now. Isn't this just absolutely adorable? That is going to get glued on there. Oh, I love this. Checking my battery power. We're all okay. So I don't even need that on for a second. I just want to make sure I decorate this up beautifully. Perfect. Beautiful. So you can decide which way round you want it. I'm going to have this way round.
Go a little bit lower. That's better. Perfect. I'm just going to lay that flat just while I uh, make sure that's adhered on properly. Right, let me just fit these cards in there just for a second. And one of the envelopes. Just, I'm checking for height. Oh, we've got to stamp the front of our cards as well. Let me just pop that in there. Perfect height look. Just perfect. So that fat flap now fits over there. So what I want to do is just want to check. I want that down to the there. Right there on the bottom. Up there. So making sure it's equal. And I'm going to add a line of glue. Didn't do it on the other one, but I'm doing it on this one. It's just a little flap. So I'm making sure that's perfectly straight. I'm making sure this line goes down to this one. And that one on that one. Perfect. And then when we wrap our belly band around, we can do a dry run and we can see that it will pull the flap out. So it's perfect, absolutely perfect. So now I am going to add, I'm doing this loosely, I'm not going wild, making sure that's nice and straight. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on here, mainly to the back side and up to the tip. So now that I've aligned that up, perfect. Get your card together. Give that a little rub. Now I don't need the glue anymore because I'm going to use dimensionals. And there's our little flap. And they will just slide back in there beautifully. Oh, I love it. Oh, I do need the... Oh, no, I use my fast fuse while it's out quickly. Just going to pop that against its background. And I'm going to add... Two of those on there. And that is just going right there on that box front. Isn't that? Maybe I should come down a little bit actually. Well, no, don't worry. Now, let me neck. The back in, thankfully. I can glue that now. Come on. Like I don't want to, it to be too high up, so add it too high up. So that's better. Just give that a sec to go off. And it's still got its dimension. There we go. We can now finish off, leave that to dry. Decorate, get we need our pokey tool, our small dimensionals, and we're going to add these to the backs. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove them as well. Oh, I'll do that after. You know, my look, I'll get them all stuck to my arm. Lovely start to finish project with you all. That's cut in half, otherwise I'd use that. These are gonna dress those little circles. Which 
know, these small dimensionals are absolutely brilliant. I love them. Glue away. Rhinestones. We're going to do a little bit more stamping later on the fronts of our envelopes. So we'll pop them to one side. Just so cute. We're going to grab our doily now and one of our and they fit more or less with the tiniest little border going around where you can see them so what I do, I lay them down one there one this side one this side just remove the backings It's up to you now whether you want to keep that in the middle. I'm going to go on the side again. I think they were just so adorable. I might, no, I'm going to go back on there. Perfect. Oops. Tuck that off. And I just put that right there. Making sure it was straight. There we go, I'm looking for rhinestones. And I'm just going to pop one, two, three little rhinestones on. And that one's done. So again, making sure it's lined up. There's a little gap all the way up. card over. It's got like a little production line going on. I think it's great. Pop that on. Pop that on and just pop that on there. I think you are amazing. And that one's done. Oh, I'm loving this. These are just the cutest little things ever. My manner. Beautiful. Add those. One. I need that away from there. And this one down here, three. You are amazing. Keeping the, before I actually stick the last one down, making sure it's straight. Perfect. On to our last one. Beautiful. Oops, it's come off before you've even took it off. Little production line going on. Yay! These are just so sweet. Back in dimensionals everywhere. <laughs> they do, can't they? You get them everywhere. You are awesome. Sorry, amazing. Even that one, that sentiment would work if we had it. Perfectly straight. One, two, and three. I love them. They are just so cute. So we, we move on quickly now. 
I'm just going to use, um, I'm going to use the grapefruit grow. And we're just going to stack that gorgeous flower. I'm going to go for the large one this time. Where's my scrap? Oh. Just in case I go over the edge. Beautiful envelopes. And just pop one in the bottom corner. Or you could even do it all the way up. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh. I'm going to do it on these as well. See, I do one thing. Just add some more gorgeousness to these. You could go back on the cards, add Wink of Stella, add a little ribbon even. That would be cute. And then you've got your matched envelopes as well. Just stunning. And now all we've got to do now is pop those beautiful cards and our envelopes inside that gorgeous little box. Fit in there beautifully. Absolutely stunning. And we can tuck in our flat. There we go. Beautifully done. Absolutely stunning. Add some gems, some Wink of Stella on those. I will make a card with all the scraps that I've got from here. The ones that I've chopped up. Um, I will not let none of these bits go to waste. I'll probably do like the herringbone card we did with the men's card stuff. And uh, maybe trim a few more little bits down. I, I love the mushroom one. I love all this paper actually. We've got some strips of blue. Um, you know, even little pieces like this will not go to waste. I will make a card with them. And I, it will be so cute. So don't worry about any of my scraps. They never go to waste. So there is our beat that one. I think this is a little bit high and it's catching, see? So there, oh, see, look at my envelopes. My doily got caught up, see? So there is that packet. And this is that packet. I hope you enjoyed. I add a ball. These are two beautiful prizes and I've got enough card stock and enough car uh, note cards and envelopes now to do get five sets of these. And all I'll use is five sheets of DSP, five piece, uh, pieces of card stock and I have five wonderful little gifts to give out to people for their entries into the drawers. I absolutely love it. Even cra great little craft fair ideas even. You could change the sentiment on each one. Do a thank you, a happy birthday, a get well soon and uh, thinking of you. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, it's endless. You can just do whatever you like. So I'd love a thumbs up and a share if you don't mind girls. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Don't forget the little bell straight away. That way you'll be notified of all future videos. I try my best to post every single day. So press the subscribe. Press the little bell and come and see what I'll make tomorrow. Love you all. Bye.